Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In today's class, we are going to start with the chapter number four, that is just in time quality management, total productive maintenance, and the ISO. Particularly, this chapter covers us four different domains of the quality. But in today's class, I am going to discuss about two concept only, that is JIT and the Kanban system. So let's get started with the topic introduction to JIT. JIT actually stands for just in time. This JIT concept is given by the Japanese people, and most of the countries are following this JIT technique because it is very easy to adopt this particular technique. So let us understand what is there in this JIT technique. JIT actually focuses on doing the work systematically by removing the excess work. Now, actually, this JIT focuses on the three different M's. The first M is for Muda, which means to eliminate the waste. The second M is for Mura, which means remove the unevenness. And the third M stands for Muri, which means remove the unreasonableness. Right? If we implement this thing, we can raise their productivity. Basically, we need to focus on the Muda, Mura, and Muri. Let us understand that concept with the help of one short example. Suppose there is one company in which we are just lifting these different different boxes. Okay? So what does this Muda suggest? It is clearly visible from the diagram itself that one forklift can lift these three boxes, right? So unnecessary we are wasting the resources, right? This should not be there. We need to have focus on that. If one forklift is enough in order to lift these three boxes, only one forklift should be used, right? From the second diagram, that is for the Mura, which focuses on the evenness, right? We are having this two forklift. One is lifting only one box, whereas other forklift is lifting the three boxes. So this unevenness should not be there. If we are having this four boxes, that workload should be distributed evenly, right? Two by the first forklift to another two by the second forklift. The concept of the Muri says that there should not be any unreasonable on the particular work domain area, right? See, the forklift is designed to lift at three boxes, right? So sh it should not be over lifted, right? In the uh, particular any production system also, this Muri fault is found a lot of time, right? Sometimes what happens, we over process the particular component right sometimes it is not necessary also so this over processing also lies under the concept of muri right do the task as per the requirement of the customer we does not need to waste the time doing unnecessary or not required kind of job right say for example the surface smoothness in any of the particular product is required up to some extent for that you are doing some grinding operation then do that grinding operation up to that extent only Right? No need to process the particular component for a longer period of time. Right? Do as per the customer requirement. That is the main concept of JIT. Then you can deliver the product on time and you can eliminate the different different wastages. Right? So that is about JIT concept. Now let us understand what is JIT production system. So just in time or JIT is a management philosophy basically that strives to eliminate the sources of manufacturing waste by producing the right part at the right place at the right time. This is a key statement of the GIT that to produce a right part at the right place at the right time. Right? How we can achieve this? Right? Let's say one example we will take. Uh, suppose this is a customer requirement which is coming to the factory that will be noted first. Now as per the requirement only the raw materials will be actually uh, ordered right now that ordered part will be unloaded that according to the raw material we will have a storage of that to the raw material if we are involved in the assembly operation perfectly that number of components only will be assembled the same parts will be delivered so what you notice over here is we are very much specific on the number of quantity right we are trying to minimizing the waste. We are very accurate in doing the processing of the job even so that it does not 
produce any defect even and we does not need to store that defective part also right we need to focus on the unevenness we need to focus on the unreasonable kind of job we want right so delivering the exact amount of quantity at the exact amount of time right so if you do observe have a observation at each and every point of event in the industry you can do this thing right so assemble parts are then uh lastly dispatch to the area where it is required fine so there won't be any kind of uh, wastages in the entire system right so that is nothing but git or git production system that's all about git now let us understand the kanban again kanban is a japanese word this japanese word basically means having a visual board or some signages right so what will happen is if any some small sign is been displayed in front of a worker then it can help him to take some decision right we will take some example so you will get the idea from the diagram itself it is clearly visible also so from the diagram you can see that which is indicating a material flow right we are having one storage area so one person is taking some part right so obviously there will be a shortage of this two parts now that shortage of two parts will be noticed and that will be placed by some worker right so there should be some system which is giving the uh, idea that there is some shortage right that is nothing but it is a kanban we will have some sign or visual board through which we will get the idea that there is some shortage that's why it is called as a pullback system also right so basically it helps to uh, have a two function the first function is to contain information that serves as a work order and second one to move with the actual material right so there should not be any kind of unnecessary storage of the material right so if this system is designed to store the six material only six material will be stored right if two is been left out two will be restored back by the particular person right that is due to the kanban let us understand again the concept here it is clearly visible if one part uh, is been going out right that will be informed to the inspection department right that is going to the S that in same instruction will pass on to the assembly part the same instruction will go to the station number 2 then to the station number 1 so in the reverse order basically we are receiving the instruction that the one part has been going out so one part we need to send in right so the objective we will solve with the help of kanban is that there should not be any over production in the system right and second one is we can set the priority in the production system that which part need to be produced first that can also be easily managed basically let me give you one case study so that you can understand the concept well and we are using this on our daily practice even right this is a case study of uh, any of the supermarket right so what happens in a supermarket basically customer select some object and they take in the particular carry bag so we can implement the kanban over here right if the customer is going out with some product so that is actually recorded while making a bill right so that is called as a checkout region so during that checkout time we are having the inventory management also so obviously inventory will notice that we will we are having a shortage of that many components so that signal will be passed on to the warehouse right where the different different parts are been stored right so again from the warehouse that will be dispatched with the help of truck and can be kept at the storage area so there should not there won't be any kind of shortage of that particular part at the supermarket right the supermarket actually follows this kind of kanban system and it can be implemented at any of the industry so there won't be any kind of shortage of the material the right place is available at the right time and in the right quantity even right so that's the concept of the kanban that's all for the today's class we are going to continue about chapter number 4 in the next class thank you